Do you like what the Cowboys have done with their running backs, tagging Pollard and letting Zeke go? I do like it because I think you've seen it and they learned the lesson. Like you extend a running back and, you know, next thing you know, it feels like you've overpaid a running back who's banged up. It can easily happen at that position. I like it for this reason. Pollard, because of how he came into the league, it feels like there's an appreciation. Like, hey, opportunity to sign the franchise tag, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to make $10 million bucks this year, more than I've made. And I'm excited to be there. And I think you have one of the more explosive backs in the game as your lead back. And I also like the pairing of Ronald Jones for a guy that's a, you know, a pretty good situational runner. So I, I do think in a weird way, even though Dak had been outstanding for them and, you know, was, it was a great cowboy, I actually think they're better at the position now, Laura, than they were, you know, a week ago. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll tell you guys why Tony Pollard signed that, that franchise tender. It's because he sees what the running back market is. He ain't no dummy. Ooh, he gonna yeah. take that 10.1 and coming off a broken leg and understand what the what the assignment is. But I don't think the Cowboys are done at the running back position. They've already filled the two most pressing needs on their team by trading for Brandon Cooks and Stephon Gilmore to solidify the receiver room and also the cornerback position. Low risk moves with that could possibly have championship uh, caliber results, but they got to gear up to go get another running back and who better to go get than Texas's very own B. John Robinson uh, of all the backs in this draft. He is the most special. He can do everything that Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott could do in one package. The, the couples one stat for you here. As I said, when the glasses go on, the facts come out. B. John Robinson over the last two years has broken 183 tackles. The next closest guy in college football, 123. Ooh. Hey, Laura, do you know what B. John Robinson's name stands for? I don't. All right, so it's Persian. It's of Persian descent, and it means hero. But every defender that he goes up against thinks that he's the villain. Okay, Rob. You know what my favorite thing is that everyone's face is on the screen after he drops these lines. Right Robert, yeah, I also, I caught you with that understood the assignment drop in there too. We get a little TikTok in the action. Hey, here's something else though. Division rival, the Eagles could also be a suitor for Bijan Robinson. Remember, they have the 10th overall pick. They don't have Miles Sanders anymore. Be interesting if the Cowboys are trying to get him. You could see Jerry mm. Jones get a little aggressive. We'll keep an eye on that too for sure. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.